This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission? To gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The Wild Hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the Wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with a witch. While searching for the witch Ciri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Ciri had seemed to have taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Ciri had never reached the elven mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. While in Crookback Bog, Ciri had happened on the Crones. The beastly sisters took her in, then wavered, unsure if they should eat her or surrender her to the Wild Hunt. Ciri escaped before they could decide. Pursued by a spectral rider, she had fled into the swamp, where Geralt lost her trail once more. He now needed a new lead. Wounded and tired, Ciri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. As the Emperor's spies told it, Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Yeah, it was 
had your fill of fools past me, have you? Stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Uh, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away! Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die.
Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap. I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch has got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. What's your name? Stangrim. Well, Stangrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. Come on, come closer. Had enough? Best finish me now. Cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. It was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. of power should draw from it.
Faster. Slow now. Whoa. If Miretta wants something new, you can't. I don't know. Show me what you got from the aisles instead. Everything fresh as a daisy. Come closer, stranger. Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. Let's go! Can't I play today, Dad? Got to go to the port. Bid farewell to King Brian in me. Our time amongst the living is but the wink of an eye. What's left?
You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of Caer Trolls stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me? Gladly. Feasts in Skellige. So predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah. Nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? Been to Novigrad. Siri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery, 
She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Ciri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. White Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Clark, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Keep an eye on him. You're pale. You drink last night too? Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June in the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. 
You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. Often enough, might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry. None of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's just a bit high, master. That's dear it is, but could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. Man needs worries like a boat needs father. The sail straight and easy. Because if I get hit to my gut and those herrings get tangled in your entrails, there'll be no trouble for us. The former serve our king worthily to meet or drink too much corn. After the war, King Brown, the feast at his table, sing his peace. Supper knives are good for picking your teeth. Hey, my lord. Oh, my lord. Greetings. Smooth seas this morn, as if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Konung Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the Isles, most like. Glad they look at what you got. Wise man. No common rags among my wares. Take it you're good with scissors. Give me a haircut. It ain't something I usually do, but it wouldn't be right to turn down a traveller.
What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. I'll be back. Ugh! <laughs> 
gods of the sea. I've never begrudged you new gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offer in the me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse-lickin' bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing guilds. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! your nerve. Come on, Roach. Slow now.
come on.
But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Me down, it What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Solis? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right. Let's pay Carrot in a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you.
Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off! Leave him. Let's go. You off your fucking nut? Lambert, this is one of those situations when you have to realize you're pissed as hell. Rein it in, and trust your cool-headed friend. Let's go. For fuck's sake, Geralt. Don't know that I'll be able to forgive you. I said let's go. You can always come back. Thank you. Explain yourself. Don't intend to. Just felt Keratin didn't deserve to be murdered in cold blood. If you feel otherwise, you can always go back. Without me. I feel like beating the shit out of you. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert.
Bumtar will rise yet again. What is it? You're clearly a fighting man with many journeys neath your belt. I'm in need of your help. You see, it's me Sonny. I'm worried. Left home a fortnight back and hasn't returned. Will you see what's become of him? Would you mind? Let's talk about my reward first. Have mercy on an old man. Drop your price a few crowns. Have mercy. It's a lot. I need to borrow from kid, but you have it. Won't spare no coin for me, boy. Where should I look for your son? East of here. It's the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some robes from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve. A cheerful lad. A bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks, except last I saw him he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely. None other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. you. First outlander to seek a place in the hero's pursuits. Will you ride here too? There's room for you if you want. Yeah, yeah, I'll ride. Might even win. If your arse is as tough as your talk, who knows? Listen up, folks! Race is about to start! Running for the glory, the great mum or speedy Oswald! Lonely boy Svan! And Geralt of Rivia!
Tos as you You won. Glory's yours, as is the prize. Svana let you join the pursuits, but have you truly the courage to run? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Listen up, good folk. Riding for the glory of Modron Freya today are Geralt of Rivia, Arv Orsman, and Red Ricca. You win, vagrants. Cut! You... Won't let you win, vagrants. Cut! And the winner is Witcher Geralt of Rivia! Such a feat deserves a reward. Here, may it remind you of your glory. Barrel hoops to blades, I've got it all. But I'm guessing you're more interested in blades. Show me what you got then. Cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad.
gives me a powerful hunger. Greetings, traveler. Got back your stolen horn, and I, uh, killed the thieves. Shamed up. They weren't evil men. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters.
Take it easy. That's it, Roach.
Line. Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look. See it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse. Seen this before. There's nothing to scoff at can bring misfortune, even death. Aye, and the name carved upon it is Tialva, my firstborn. Boy's feverish, grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but no luck. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm-hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. any better? A nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar. Trails fresh. Hmm. I want to look around some. It's clearing up. this woman 
and shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. More day. The woods, like the Think you can find your way out. Horse came to the tower last week. Why is that, Granddad? But I'm afraid we shan't see you again. Why are you talking like that? When don't you like you? Madam, I thought it was barely open to the other side. Like this, and then smack him in the head. Like oh, this. So, there's truth to that bladder by the ice giant. Huh? So, there's truth to that bladder. Grand those swords, but I prefer we trust the axe. Hmm? A Nordling? What's that supposed to mean? Like pickled herring? Me? Where's I your road wind? Greetings. Greetings? See ya. Fare thee well. Nordling. Look, look. What do you want? Decent folk live here. What did you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist. Lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. You've come a long way. Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the nithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. 
You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. He abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. Oh no, I have not been had, nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. You know who placed the knifing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So? Will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My wife. My son. I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the gods into it. This is between two human beings. So? Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he'd died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. There's truth to that bladder by the ice chain. Whoa there, Roach.
Maybe they got lost. They've been hauling lumber along this road for 20 years. Do you think they got lost? Maybe they had structures. Ground that to Swords on his back. What brings it to me? Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. That's it, Roach.
Faster. Slow now. Hey there. What happened? What happened, damn it? Is that I fell and cracked me damn leg in two? Stop whining, Peter. I'm ashamed to hear it. Pull yourself together, man. 
Worst case, Henrikel whittle you a wooden leg. Old Ola's got one, and you don't hear him complaining. Old Ola's also got lice, stinks, and leaks out of both ends. Yet he don't complain about that either. You two gonna help or no? How do you fall? We set out to light a fire there. Atop of the statue's shoulders. For our own glory and that of our ancestors. Looks like you succeeded. Aye, but the fire won't big so quick Peter jumped back. Lost his balance. Got lucky anyway. Could have broken his neck falling from that height. This statue, what is it? An altar to the god of warriors. Any man who dares climb it and light the fire gains the favor of the gods. Fame and... And an excellent chance of snapping his leg off at the arse. Are you gonna help me or are you gonna continue preaching? This celandine should help you. Won't mend your leg, but it will make it hurt less. Thanks. Our undying gratitude that gets you. The gratitude of a dying man in my case. Enjoy it while it lasts. Shut it and show me that leg. Thanks again. Gods guide ye. Come on. He's got their nest here.
look around some. That's it, Roach. things. Business good? Why wouldn't it be, seeing as I make the best arms in the Isles? Just look. Iron ore from the bowels of Mount Ardfand, where giants once tore up the earth. Then my forge fire, blazing unbroken for six generations, its care passed from father to son. And every day come dawn, Hara, my youngest, she pricks her finger and squeezes a drop of her blood into the water I use to temper the blades. Have a look. Stall. Yeah, nothing. This ain't the continent. Fashions don't change with the melting snows. We live like our fathers and grandfathers lived, fishing, hunting and raiding. And so shall we live, to Ragnarok and beyond. So long. Smooth sailing. You come from afar. Ought to replenish your supplies, I wager. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. <sighs> 
so long. And then what? Then nothing. Never you mind. This here's a job for a witcher. As you wish. What's the problem? A beast. It attacked me. Me and my comrade. We'll gut the fucker. Aye, but not us. The Witcher. Why bother the witch man? Like as not it were a pack of wolves. But they got you so afeard you shat yourself and sore spectres. Let me round up a few sturdy lads and we'll... Won't be needed. The Witcher will help, right? You shat that us down. Feral folk, dumb as stumps. You from Faro? Come a long way. That just happened. Came to Fairsdale to trade a load of hides from Sforlag. Sforlag? Thought you were from Faro. Sforlag's on Speakerog. Ah, uh, uh, well, you see, first I sailed from Faro to Sforlag. Traded some loot from the continent for hides there, then came here. Faro to Speakerog to Ard Skellig. <laughs> Roundabout journey. I hadn't much choice, had I? A merchant sails where the trade's good, not where it's close at hand. That hunter, could he be right? Maybe it was just wolves. I knows what I saw. Besides, who's he to say? Those drum and blaggards don't know shite from shoelaces. That particular blaggard was wearing on crate colors. Uh, you sure about that? Sure than sure. Ugh, doesn't matter. That lot's not to be trusted either. Monsters attack me. I need a witcher, not some hunter. Fine. What's this about? Tell me. Me and my mate run our way here to Fearsdal with a cart full of hides. Suddenly we heard a screech. Our horse got spooked, started kicking, and then monsters jumped out of the bushes. My mate drew the short straw. They got him first. By some miracle I managed to get away. What kind of monsters? Nekuks. No doubt about it. What? You know, sharp claws, animal skulls on their heads, attacking swarms. Neckers? Yeah, knackers! Near 20 of them. So will you help? Will you kill the bastards? That road needs to be clear. Aim to travel it again soon. <laughs> hmm, don't know. You lost your transport, so I don't see how you're going to pay me. And I don't work for free. I've coin set aside. I'm sure we'll agree terms. How much would you ask? Fair price. So, how will it be? I'll help you. Grand! Knew a witcher wouldn't let me down. Not like some waffly prick from Clan Drumden. Or Clan Drummond. Good luck, witcher. Fare you well. Wait. Where should I look for you? What? Once I finish, where will I find you? Oh, oh I, I, um, here. I Meaning in the tavern nearby. I'll await you there. Fine. See ya. And it hurts horrible. As if as if something was tearing me apart from inside. I'd be hurt. They said their herbs can't help, and all that's left is to pray. Shall I?
not good. Ugly bastard. That's enough of that. Thank you. 
What is it? Retrieve the property you lost. Kill you? Thanks be to Freya! Where'd you find it? Northern part of the Isle, near the Whale Cemetery. Don't ask me how it got there, long story. At any rate, don't need to worry about the thieves. They won't steal ever again. Your reward. Sure as hell earned it. And a lot a bit more from myself. If Kill you'd not been found, I'd have had to wash the shame away with my own blood. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krak wants. When we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Yes? Drink last night too. I think I donned an evening dress to show off for the seals. Just want to get some air. Very well. Once you've aired out thoroughly, find me by the entrance to the feast hall. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Greetings, Arnvald. 
My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face, mate. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lugus, Madman Lugus' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls, exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know, every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. But remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's.
see the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It likely happened to any of us. Enough of the natter and let's drink. To Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. Me want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Dona and Hinda, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Don Art. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak! Show us what you're made of! Move the benches! There's to be some gob slapping! Fist his fucking gob! Make him choke on his teeth already! Come on, come closer. Had enough? Ah, ah, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. 
It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. That's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Nothing wrong with having a drink in good company. I remind you we've important matters to discuss later. Matters that require a clear mind. I remember. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. To Bran! To Jarl Madman Lugos and his madness. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. Yes? Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. 
That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right. Nightingales croon. Yes? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> This will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Hermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Looks alive. Yes? Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Wanted care more and <laughs> please. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Basin of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it.
Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morhen finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. The letter bearing Ermion's seal. To the druids. Wondrous world of insectoids. You. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow. A biography enhanced. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Needs something else. Gotta look around. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. A child's skull. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A sword and a stone. 
things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Dwarven Triple Mead. Let's try again. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm, guess you're no indecisive prince. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Geralt, come here. I found the mask. This is it. It. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs>
The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beard and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise a king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. With no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. son could not be here this day. Behold his axe! Behold his will! Be the best man! A woman win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children. The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble. And you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, Gold, ships, anything. Merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ord Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion. 
But I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms. Right unnatural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Mad Madlubus would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here and Artskeled. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Undvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So yes, I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later.
wanted to talk. What's new in Skellige? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. Any news of Yalmar? His venture going well? Nah. Tempted after all, eh? If you're itching to join him, it might not be too late. Hmm. Maybe I should visit Envik. Ask at the new port. Clan Todorok survivors lie around there. They refuse to hunt the giant, but they're willing to talk. See ya, crack. Never crumble. The sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. <laughs> Why are you here then? Don't look like warriors to me. More like shepherds. Every Skelliger's a warrior. Even him born in a sheep shack. But we don't expect you to understand. Every man's a thrall on the continent. Cringing afore his master like a mongrel whining for scraps beneath the table. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Kerr Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Who's I? <laughs> Hi, Geralt. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants aplenty. 
And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Saw your notice. Pretty bear. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely. So we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do us much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Gotta say, I like you, Jorand. But business is business. I'll need more than that. Hmm. I can add a sum, but not near that much. Hmm. 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 Grand. Let's call it that. Shake on it. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. What to be said? Or some spouting guardian curse. Wanderer? Must be the one the Jarl summoned. Well, what? <coughs> See ya, and thanks for the service. Really warm and kind. What's that supposed to mean? Your average mist.
Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the Lightkeeper? Joran from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere's. That's just it. Fire went down and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed. Came straight at me. Pulled it back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel. Miguel. I look out. There's the wraith. Big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. This wraith, the big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know? In case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. to find cover. Almost. of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Just you. Learn anything? 
Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. But I'm the only one lives here, and I've hurt no one. Trouble not a soul. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Mayhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Hurry up! Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Did it work? It did. Still don't know what brought the penitent here, though. You'd best be careful. I'd gladly thank you with words and gold. It's just my coin pouch is empty. I know the feeling. So long. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I'd have died of hunger.
Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. has got a pretty dark secret. Just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea, that's its nature. They sink near the isle, at least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, and come for you. Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again.
Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... But... Beware the bandits that lurk in the highlands. <coughs> Hi, Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Long story short, you'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. For Skellige Mead, Vagrant. It's not bad, thanks. Ah, huh. then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems I got to pound it into you. Thanks, Jorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. Some miserable shits. Stay calm. Get you a healer. No point. Pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood or too long. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant. Son of Sigvald. Who lived. Honorable. And died like a fool. They're lads. What about them? Speak, damn it. They're dead. That's some foreigners, Han. Corey! Cracky!
I'd but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Don't know. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. You lie. You saw who started it. Had to. I'd sooner believe one of our own. Men who know what honor is. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman? That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to give lip during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. I don't have that much time. Looking for someone and... Couldn't give a sheep's arse. Grab a pickaxe and get working. You bored? Grab a pickaxe. All right. Get to work then. Drifter. Know how to escape? Escape? Me. Yeah. But there's other ways out. I can ensure Lugas will try you today. You'll be free sooner, or go under the axe. Either way, out today. Go on. Owes me a favor, one of the guards. I can get him to take you to Lugas. Then you can owe me a favor. What do you say? If you can get the guard to do that, why are you still in here? Ugh, you don't know Simon Brambling. Many seek my death. I'm safe from their vengeance here. The time for mine's not yet ripe. Sounds good. Tell the guard to take you to Lugos. Tell him he does that. Simon will forget what happened at Fierstar. So what happened at Fierstar? None of your concern. Just go to him. Repeat what I said. What are you doing here?
You bored? Grab a pickaxe. Rather talk. About what happened at Fearsdall, for example. Shut it! It'll cost you. Scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. How the hell did you know about it? From Simon Brambling. He promised to forget if you take me to see the Jarl. Brambling. More like Simon Looselip. Ah, fine. Come with me. My line gets back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gotta die. I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. You invited me to your lands, Lugos. Said I'd find work here. Aye, killing monsters, not men. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you see to that? Fought to defend myself, and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Huh. Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, I. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find ye guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. You know I don't have that kind of coin, unless those boys were a lot lighter than they looked. I'm well aware of that. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home, Leif. Because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture, though I'm guessing it doesn't come free. Tell me, Witcher, have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Greetings. Want to look over our stock? Take it everything here's for sale? Sure, if you can afford it. The Jarl's a stickler for quality, so we keep no rubbish here. Zarakanian Zephyrs, Mahak and Battle Axes, Fair Lead and Short Swords. Where'd you get so many continental goods? The sea provides. And if it doesn't provide on its own, you hack off hands that hold swords in a death grip. <laughs> what? Yeah, think we just found all this on the shore, like seashells at low tide? What else do you bring back from the raids? We focus on the essentials. Fancy wines, silk, baubles of all sorts. 
Oh, and wenches, for if we don't make proper use of them, who will? Have you heard about Hollering Holder, known as the Hellraiser, Madman Lugos' wife? Or Goldilocks Sansa, the most beautiful maid in the world in her time? Taken in raids, both. Show me what you got. He's an old for them. Or a girl. Last thing we need. What do you want? Want to talk to Blue Boy Lugos. <laughs> Hear that? He wants to talk to Lugos. What else, Vagrant? Care to plow Freya? Lugos is expecting me. Lead the way. The... Right. Come on. Why? I don't get it. Then stay here. Think it over. Every nightmarish creature man's ever dreamt will crawl out of the cave. Me wife's mum marching at their head. Know the last time I had a Continental on my ship? No. When I hauled prisoners from Velen to the slave market in Nazaire. Now, tell me why you're here. Your father felt you could use a witcher's help, and I owe him a favor, so... Told him not to meddle. Told him I'd manage fine on my own. Maybe that's not entirely true. Cave of Dreams. Supposed to be a dangerous place. Mortally so. But that's my reason for going there. Fine, so be it, I take you. Old man's like to throw a fit elsewise. Or he's about to go, you ready? What awaits us in the Cave of Dreams? Depends wholly on us, cuz... Uh, I'll explain later. We can go. Is it far? Nah, stone's throw. Let's gather the lads and go in. We'll know soon if there's truth to the legends. Garlf, these are the best warriors in me crew. They'll come with us. You know Yarolf, called the Wolverine? Good day. And this here is Uv Jabberjaw. Before we head off, will you tell me about this cave? You could at least tell me what we might have to fight. Only you can know that. Elders say in the Cave of Dreams you face your greatest fears. Face what makes you wake up at night, screaming. Something that's already been, will be, or just might be. I do wonder what a monster slayer fears. 
But we've talked enough, lads. Swords in hand. Let's go! Totem! Right where it should be. Now's when we eat the herbs. Why would we do that? To go on. To where the nightmares are. So says the legend. And so we will do. What herbs are these? Hmm. What'd that druid say? Hemlock, poppy, nightshade, and that chicky. No, uh, henbane. Whoa. In for one hell of a ride. Fine. Give him here. Take it. Oof. Yarl, eat up to the last grain. I don't feel no different. How about you, Oof? Asking him mute his opinion. You're feeling it, mate. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. you your senses. I see you're weary from the battle. Sit with me, son. Have some mead. Pray tell your adventures. Thank you, my king. We... I shan't drink with you, old man. And I shan't call you king. Get off that throne while you've still strength in your decrepit bones. Oof. You can talk. Uh, I... 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 I didn't... But... But I... Insult me once more, old Jabberjaw. The first time I left you to punish yourself and retain your honor, but now... Now you'll die like a thrall and eels will eat your remains. Oh, yeah. 
not good. I got wings, these here. It's as if they're swimming through the air. I, I know that long ship. My conscience. Let's go. one monster, another crawls out. So is this yours? This a witcher's nightmare? Nope. This is daily life for us. Quiet, calm, suspicious. Must be my dream. I don't fear nothing. Trails 
losers when Magnon struck the tree by our fall. I was three years old. I've shown a hundred times since then that I... You pissed yourself before the whole village. The Yarl son. Ah, the shame should have punished you. You're a vision. A specter. A vision of your dog, who you fear, because you know you don't live up to him. You know you disappoint him. I'm a better warrior than he ever was. Prove it, you little shite. Leave him. He's only a vision true, but it's not proper. Yeah.
Get off, Garrett. You've paid your debt. You're a free man. Gonna tell your father what you faced in the Cave of Dreams? Of course I will. I've no fear of him, right? Twas an honor to fight at your side. Farewell, Geralt. Run, Roach. As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorceress, and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. 
The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Krak and Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. So stop panicking! Where are you going? can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, druid! I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity! Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us! Don't exaggerate. It's just... No, Geralt. This is no just. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orboros made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... Huh. What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. on the mask.
What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Ciri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of survival. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Well, nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Well, ready? Use the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz and Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Just so happens I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else! Everything else be damned! Is that it? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless! It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you...? I can. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? 
vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. It is true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durin, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Ah. Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on this floor. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the Wild Hunt. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye. That's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men. Like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came. Cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. I ran out. To get help. To get Leif. So many bodies. Yole. Ingvar. Little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea. Through the ravine. On horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. 
We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She's not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska... Craven! My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvark and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Bow before Morgan Freya. Yes? Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Hey, Geralt. Come back.
Yes. My, my. That must be more clog. Quite the appetite. Mm -hmm. Might even call it wolven. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shake. Not, not again. Not again! He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where should... Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. Raven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Light prince, Craven trod carefully. Something down there, can't see a thing.
Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Looks like Mokfar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. How do you like that silver? that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. doesn't give up easily.
Ackbar broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Markvarg doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here! Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. My mouth burned like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die, but I I did it, and then I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs of those plowing heroes. Expect me to pity you? No, I want you to understand. You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. The curse. Free me, or I'll return to get you again! Now. Only now can I. Such is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you.
mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. All but one. True treasure. Head away. Yours. Just help me. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work out. Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? Uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. I've shredded many. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns my throat, throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. See if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> Farewell. See you soon. Can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten. Preferred to drown. Craven 
Titan's blood. Craven's blood. Found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen. Charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. of Lofferton. No, I... We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! Speak! She fell almost
help us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? <laughs> You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. Yes. I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on! That man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Not like that. Keep your elbow up and your arrow go straight. I know, but my arm hurts. Good. Means your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ha! Ah, I know! In you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so.
yourself in a towel? Well, whatever makes you comfortable. Boom. Then the blast near through the lock. Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? That a bruise? This? No. It's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose... It mean anything? It's a souvenir of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off. But the cruel sea swallowed him. <laughs> Close. Eh, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Here we are gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Back home, have you got saunas too? I'd rather not talk about myself. Why is that? Someone might come looking for me. I wouldn't want to cause you any trouble. It's too late for Skjall. What? He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like he was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Scal? To be honest, I prefer women. Aye, now we see. The Scald sings true. Love bears many guises. Listen. It's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sial's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey.
Wish you luck. Aye. Regards to your father. Regards to your father. Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself.
The wild hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go! What became of that creature? Where is he? What? I saw him and stole us! But he sold him! To whom? No! No! Be gone. You uh, tell them. Clear my name. <laughs> Be gone, I say. <laughs>
Yen, are you all right? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! Why could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this. We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you, sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. Key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Scal saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me... Do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That... Well... She's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt... We must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Can we do this later? Sorry, need to take care of something. Well, if you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. 
Ciri's our concern, ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Being awfully loyal to your patron. He's your patron as well, dear. Don't forget that, lest he remind you of it himself. If we gotta, we gotta. So be it. We'd never have known Ciri had returned if not for Emma and his agents. We owe him this. See you again. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. Greetings. Impressive tavern. Tavern? This ain't no tavern. It's the House of Warriors. Mm -hmm. So what do folk do in the House of Warriors? Fight? At times, one will take the other and give them a good slap in, eh? But mostly, folk come here to drink, eat, warm their bones by the fire, chatter a bit. Maybe listen to a skull and pay to the moon. About what folk do at a tavern. <sighs> ah, you continentals don't understand a thing. You need some of our mead. Brood wisdom at us. What are you peddling? Let me have a look.
the Lord's side of Kambu. You're a you, Dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keelhaul you! Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nilf Guardian dogs, we're the hunters some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. I'll rate Ask away in praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. But she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound and slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle, like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Remember that. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Drink last night too.
stones fell through the crevice years ago. moving here. Must be another cave above, or a way out. doesn't give up easily. Morkvog doesn't give up easily. Morkvog doesn't give up easily.
and Tess New Charter Day. She's from New Start, you know. Oh, that would make quick work to the fish. That's it, Roach. Greetings. Praise Freya. Liar. What? I swear it on the Great Mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morkvark's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Horson should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. Might surprise you. But I couldn't care less what a lying murderer has to say. Compared to Morgvark, I'm a plowing saint. I raided often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When, when it was over and Morgvark was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolf Fang Pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my Da, who was God Eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your Pop Pop mentioned how to reverse this? Victim needs to get the fang, is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. I'll take the fang. You can either hand it over, or... Word of advice. Never threaten a Skellige warrior. Especially one's got command of a longship.
Thus part is true. How can I be of service? In times like these, don't pay to save coins on weapons. Show me what you have. So long. The bill to me. Tis true what they say. Now here's a man who won. Sure for trouble like a witch. Not like the dead left. Beast must have dragged the shredded body to the woods. Mm, something really did tear him to pieces. Come on. Where's the key? All I have in the Charter House. The crate, but the key. Where's the key? Ah. Why so silent, Ramond? You thief, you rogue, you uh, uh, horseman, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, <laughs> idiot, stupid prick! I cannot hide the stench. Refreshing. Here we are again. 
You you can. End this. Or release me. Here, put this on. I need no more fangs. Don't be a smart ass, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh, where's the tavern? I could eat a broiled pig. No, a side of beef. Wash it down with a cask of ale. Then to see. They forgot me, no doubt. <laughs> well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang in Novigrad, everywhere. Ha! <laughs> I'm back! Fair winds and all, but before you go, my reward? Right. Nearly forgot. Happens often. Too often. Calm yourself. I'm a man of honor. Now listen. You'll go to Novigrad, to the bits. Find the Vulture, the Moneylander. Tell him more Fork sends his regards. And you'll know me to be a generous man. Farewell, then. The sea beckons. <laughs> friend. Patient. Doesn't mouth off. Grant my brother strength with a sword like light in his palm, and your guardian next lie exposed. I know you feel.
feel better. But you're yet too weak you to grant us love, journey. hatred, Thank and you. strength. But I do. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Why does the goddess bring you here? Brought myself here, seems to me. You do not worship Freya. No, but I respect those that do, including her priestesses. This does you credit, but is meaningless as well. For Freya rewards and punishes those of other faiths and infidels as she does her own. Worship her and it will help, though it will settle nothing. What do you need? Mind if I have a look at your... Tell me something about this temple, could you? It happened once that Freya lost her favorite white cat. She scoured the aisles and finally found him here. Freya's heart filled with joy and she blessed this place. A temple was then established here. Didn't know Freya was into cats? <sighs> Your ignorance speaks poorly of you. The white cat is the goddess's sacred animal and has deep symbolic significance. This temple is for those who seek Freya's help in finding what they desperately seek. Perhaps even you shall experience her grace. Scorn her not, or have you friends so powerful that you can afford to spurn divine aid? Farewell. You who grant us love, hatred and strength. Grant my brother strength, the sword my might in his power, and your guardian next lie exposed. Much left. The beast must have dragged the shredded body to the woods. Looks like blood, but... Hmm. Red clay. Hmm. Necker warriors use this clay to mark their position in the pack. Creature leading the Neckers is sentient. Gotta be. Capable of setting primitive traps, at least. Tracks lead into the woods. for their nest. <coughs> Finally, the main nest. 
rest. I got company. have developed an immunity to the toxin. Now the poison protects their nest. Clever.
Not so fast, Roach. You? You're a watcher? I see and right. Greetings. Saw your notice. Huh. And they said, where you hang on that? Ain't no one else gonna hunt that beast. But I showed them. Killed the beast that was troubling you. Merciful Freya. Horson's finally dead. <laughs> now, tell us. Was it a tough fight? Got any wounds, need dressing? No, I'll be alright. Ah, uh, nothing new to the likes of you. Hard work, witchering. Alright, your reward. This here's for you. Thanks. So long. Greetings. What have you got to pawn, and how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. Been a loan shark long? Aye. Since it was just a little tyke. So you helped your dad, took it over when he died? Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> Morkvarg sends his regards. Here. Anyone asks, I don't know him. Never laid eyes on him. Pawning or buying? Show me what you have in stock. So long.
Yennefer's suspicions proved true. Ciri had appeared in Skellige. She'd arrived from another world together with a masked mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Velen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindersfjall, meaning Ciri, too, might have returned to Skellige. On Hindersfjall, Geralt and Yen learned that Ciri had returned to the Isles. She'd rejoined her friend, the masked mage. They had boarded a boat and sailed off in an unknown direction. The boat had returned, one passenger on board, a creature as mindless as it was hideous. One of Skellige's Jarls captured the poor beast, then sold it to a merchant from Novigrad. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Du vet at Swan gjør det så